Hey everybody here and in this video we're going to learn how to add the sequence or set up the sequences or follow up sequences for our opt-in form. So we already created the opt-in form for our subscribers uh, for people to subscribe onto and now uh, follow up sequence is very useful to follow up the customers, provide them more value and of course uh, give them what they needed. So uh, to do that let's go ahead and start with the sequences so here's the sequences options in the tools menu at the side of your Infusionsoft account and you just need to drag this sequence to the edit option and then here we have an email confirmation tab or e email confirmation sequence this is actually uh, the sequence that you could use in order for you to provide a confirmation first before people are actually going to start receiving your email or start receiving email from you. If they don't confirm their email, their subscription, then they will not receive further email from you. So uh, this is how we set up our uh, form. So we are going to just drag the arrows, drop to the uh, sequence, to the double opt-in confirmation. And next is we just have to create another sequence and this is the follow-up sequence for nurturing so you can name it whatever follow-up or nurture customer so that means we are going to send them emails that will send them follow-up or about any information about your offer regarding with this opt-in or subscription form that you have set up so the confirmation you just have to enable this so that you could actually have uh, uh, it's ready for them. You could have it ready for them and don't forget that you also need to enable this email and Go and put it as ready instead of draft So we also have to update the copy of this confirmation email. You could customize it to whatever email that you wanted to do This is an email confirmation. So you could say thank you for subscription and you can see here hello contact name and there is an example so you could change it whatever you want to hear you could just delete it and then you could change a name whatever you want to put into so so for example it's gonna be James one more video marketing guru like so so that's it and you have to set it ready and then go back to the sequence so that you could further edit the follow-up sequences and then here you go your confirmation email is ready the next is to set up your follow-up sequence and with this you have to get in and start putting the uh, options or elements within this follow-up sequence and you could start from start so this is the default you always you always have the start option and you could choose the delay timer so for example if you want one hour from their subscription after they confirm their subscription uh, so for example I want to send them 15 minutes from their subscription at any day between 12 a.m. to 11:45 p.m. so that means anywhere between this date after 15 minutes they will receive the next sequence that I'm going to put at here so I'm going to add an email so it will send to them so the email will be sent to them so first email so you can name it whatever you want to do first email and then you could go inside you can see it's still grayed grayed out so you have to double click it to go to the edit page of the email and it will take you a few seconds and then you will be redirected to the edit page and now you have the default look so you could change the layout here and from the layout option you could see that there is also the size I'm gonna go with 520 and I want it to be in the left section so I want it to be put on the left and there you go and I'm gonna delete the logo because I don't need that and I could change the formatting here so I'm gonna remove the things that I don't need and go to snippet I want to insert new paragraph so that you can insert new text there and I also change the font by going to formatting and uh, find the font size to 10 and there you go so there's changes has made has been made so this is my follow-up so you, you do you have to have a subject so that it will 
uh, be acceptable for in to Infusionsoft to send. So this is my follow-up email and you could put it whatever you want to. And also there is a spam score, which you could also base your email creation. So you have to uh, be uh, sure that you are writing a valuable email. So your spam, your spam score will not be uh, indicated as spam or labeled or rated by Infusionsoft. So it's not accurate. It's not all the way accurate though. So here I'm going to select more layout that I wanted to choose from. As you can see, I want a little white one and probably more. Well, yeah, so I think that's it. And you could format your letter. Hey, first name. So you could insert and merge. You could use the merge option, insert field, and you can mention their name. Hey, first name. So whatever or whoever is the subscriber of the form, so it will mention their name. Hey, contact first name. Hey, clean, like so. This is a first email. Blah, 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 blah. So that's it. And I'm going to go back and make sure before I get out of this, I'm going to put this at as ready. And if I go back, now the sequence is now um, blurry green. So I also have to make this sequence as ready. And if I go and put it ready and I go back to the campaign, you will see that it's now uh, ready for me to publish. And the last thing we do is to publish our changes. So that's how easy it is to create a follow-up sequence for your opt-in form. So after you publish, you will be, you will see now, you will now see the opt-in form that you have set up here. So I guess that's all for this video. Hope you've learned something from here and thank you so much.